I'm Rob Mark, and this is On The Mark. Imagine for a minute you're about to pre-flight your airplane before heading off on a 300-mile business trip, an especially tough one that would normally consume days of your time in the car. Now, this jaunt's a no-brainer, though, in an airplane. Off the ground by 8 a.m., and if the winds and the weather hold, you're home by dinner. But today, as you approach your hangar, you spy something a bit odd a huge padlock on the door. There's also one note that says, you're grounded, courtesy of the FAA. Okay, maybe the padlocked hangar is a little bit of fiction, but being grounded isn't if you fail to meet the upcoming ADSB installation deadline. By Christmas 2019, that's just 30 months from now, ADSB out will be required on every active airplane that currently requires a Mode C transponder. ADSB is a non-radar technology that will track aircraft anywhere on the globe. And next year, Ariane's new satellite ADSB receivers will allow positive location tracking anywhere in the world. Now it's important to keep in mind that 2019 is not that far away, and the FAA has staunchly refused to budge a single day on that deadline. Despite the need to equip some 160,000 airplanes, the FAA says to date only 18,000 have been worked on. Now, keeping you and your airplane flying is about more, though, than just booking an appointment. There's the shop capacity issue to contend with. In a worst case scenario, we have maybe 29 months to upgrade those 140,000 airplanes. That averages out to about 4,900 airplanes a month between now and the deadline. Right now, though, avionic shops are upgrading about 1,000 airplanes a month. The question, of course, is why? Some people I've spoken to see 30 months as a time frame just this side of one of these days. But while one of the 656 avionic shops in the U.S. have room to take your airplane today, that probably won't be true two years from now, especially when everybody else realizes their mistake. So to help convince owners to get that ADSB out installed now, the FAA created a $500 rebate program. Since the basic equipment needed to comply with this deadline can be had for as little as $2,000, the FAA could be financing 25% of the whole deal. But the rebate's only good for the first 20,000 single-engine aircraft owners that fly piston airplanes who install ADSB within 12 months of the agency's go-ahead. That's expected in September. Another bonus, though, came in June when Avidine and FreeFlight offered to give their buyers the $500 credit at installation time and save those owners the work of filling out all that FAA paperwork. The real question, I guess, is whether you're willing to bet the FAA will change its mind or maybe that there's a better deal still to come. Seeing that the FAA is the most powerful aviation agency in the nation and that they could simply stop you from flying in a few years, especially if you guess wrong, I guess you need to ask yourself if you feel lucky today. Well, pilot? Do you? From Chicago, I'm Rob Mark. <laughs>